skies in place. That storm system across the Sierra winding down too. So it's a nice night to set the stage for a well, what would be a chilly weekend. Yeah. You know, so we'll see uh, temperatures tonight. One of the cooler nights we've had since last winter across the valley down to the 30s. Let's start off with what's happening right now, though. If on first alert live radar, you can see just a few lingering rain and snow showers across some of our foothill and Sierra communities and that comes to an end. And then tomorrow, starting off with more sunshine. This is three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Notice as you get north into the Sacramento Valley, more clouds, but we will stay dry tomorrow into light breeze. Not really seeing much in the way of winds at all. Uh, light variable throughout much of tomorrow night. And then as we move into Sunday, Sunday afternoon, again, the sun still holding on across much of the San Joaquin Valley. More clouds north rain coming up along the north coast, and that's going to be the next chance of any precipitation we have across our area. It's a fast moving system, so it comes in Sunday night, which great timing because Saturday is dry, Sunday is dry across the valley and for the Sierra, and we won't see a whole lot of, out of that. A couple of inches of snowfall at the past level, and that will be passing down to the south, and we start to see a return to uh, cooler weather that will continue even well into next week. We end up in the 30s tonight across the valley, teens across the Sierra, and then temperatures in the valley tomorrow running into the 60s for high temperatures. 50s across the foothills and 30s and 40s once you get up into the Sierra for tomorrow and a little bit more on that storm system coming in late Sunday night as we get into early early Monday about one to three inches above 6000 feet. We're quiet throughout much of the week, but then as we get into the latter part of the week, we're watching a return to more active weather further north across the Pacific Northwest. We'll have to watch this carefully late next week into next weekend because there's some pretty heavy precipitation showing up and right now appearing to be on the low end of the risk for some uh, heavy precipitation event, but it does exist. So we will be monitoring that as we get into next week as we impact your Friday and next weekend plans. Tony. All right, Nick, thanks.